Yeah, really? Yeah. Especially the, the greens. The greens um, hold the um, the least amount of time. Um, and sometimes I'll put ice cubes in with the juice um, to keep everything cold. I mean, basically, it's just like once they are in the air or once they start warming up at all, um, they'll start losing their nutrients. Cilantro. Yes. Great stuff. I know. I am. I go through like deep, deep depression every time we run out of cilantro. I put cilantro in everything. I'm starting to get better, I'm starting to sleep through the night, which is good. Um, my mom and I are ridiculous night owls. Um, these are some of the ways that God heals us in ways that we might not consider miraculous in the modern day of frozen foods. But it's a miracle if we uh, actually eat things that come from the earth. Juicing really helped out my diet in general because, um, because of that, um, it acclimated me to a vegan diet. Oh, okay. Um, I pray every night with uh, um, um, soil from the uh, holy site of Guadalupe. The, uh, the Lords of the West. I was reading a lot about John Paul II, and, and he had a huge influence on me um, and on my spiritual imagination, um, both what it means to be a priest and what it means to uh, stand up against... Uh, um, a, uh, an unjust government in the way that he did with, um, with um, communist Russia. And I was so mad at the president for giving the Pope the, uh, the Medal of Freedom or whatever it was, as if he had the authority um, to give the Pope anything. It just seemed like God was telling me that he's got, he's got work for me to do and he's not done with me yet. Not that I wouldn't have to go through hell, um, but that, um, but that, this was happening for a reason, um, and I shouldn't be afraid. Wow, that's very powerful. Thank you. Yeah. The problem is, is we are in such a track. It's like I keep saying, okay, I've got to sit down and figure out a way to do this, but we're. We're constantly going, and I haven't had time to sit down and look through my books enough to say this is how much. At I first, I was losing a lot of weight, and so we, um, you know, out of concern for that, wanted to increase my calorie intake. And so, not only um, did, uh, well, we just had to buy more. Yeah. To keep me from losing weight. Yeah. This, this directly impacts your health. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you're... I can tell as much of a difference from not, um, from not juicing as from not taking my pain medications. The whole philosophy is create an environment where cancer cannot survive. Um, survive. That's the philosophy. We got the, the paper, <clears throat> we got the actual, um, uh, summary of, from the, the radiologist, and... That's like really And I read that, and, and um... And just you know, wasn't sure what you're whether, reading. Well, are these words saying what I think they're exactly, saying? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Sure. You know, I mean, it was saying things like um, you know the previously discovered lesions on the T1, uh, seven, nine, and twelve appear to have healed. All the doctors that I've talked to um, are just so shocked that I would have this kind of cancer because it's typically a geriatric uh, form of cancer. You know, 32-year-old um, men who um, are active, athletic, um, engaged in, you know, a career, going to school, all of those things, just don't get this kind of cancer. But, you know, when I say that I was, um, I was uh, stationed at Abu Ghraib during the time when the burn pits were in operation and our quarters were very close to the pits, and that I worked um, at um, 
my company uh, Burn Barrel in the last couple weeks before we deployed, um, they all say, well, that makes much more sense. You know, but to go back to the, the, the diagnosis um, from this last PET scan, it seems uh, there, there's a very small population of people that respond well to Tarsiva. And, um, and apparently I'm one of those people, but I also am one of those people who, who has radically changed his diet and am doing everything in my power to create an environment in which cancer can't survive. And, um, and so there's a certain amount of like genetic luck involved, but then there's also a lot of things that we're practically, that we're doing practically, um, that um, seems to be having an effect as well in, the, in my body's receptivity to Tarsiva.